So in BikeCAD, to display dimensions on the screen, just click the dimension icon to bring up the dimension dialog box. And here you'll find that we have tons of dimensions available to us. You go through the list, they're categorized uh, into different sections, and if you picked a particular section, you can select all in that section. You can see there's an overwhelming number of dimensions available. But occasionally you might have a, a situation where you want a dimension that's just not available in the list. You can create your own dimension using a user-defined dimension. To do that, just pick where on the screen you want your dimension to go from. So maybe I'll go from the back of the saddle. What I do is I right-click. Now on a Mac, that would be Control-Click, and pick Start Linear Dimension. Move the arrow along. Maybe I want to go to the break hood. So I right click and I go end linear dimension. And that completes my dimension. It's there, I can read it. If I want to save it for posterity, I right click and go save dimension. The user dimension tab appears and I can type in a name for this. I'll say back of saddle to break hood. Just as with any other dimension, you've got a checkbox here to turn it on or off, and a slider here to change the offset of that dimension from where it's actually taken from. That was an example of a, just a direct dimension from one location to another. I'll turn that off for a moment. Maybe I wanted that dimension to be sort of measured horizontally. If that's the case, then I right-click, again on a Mac, that's Control-click, start linear dimension X, and now you can see no matter where I go, it's always giving me just the X component, the horizontal component of that distance. So again, I can go to the break hood, hit end linear dimension. And again, if I want to save it, go save dimension. Again, it's basically the same dimension I created before. I'll put a note that this is the X component. And again, we can change the uh, offset of that dimension as it's displayed on the screen. Change the text size with this slider bar here, and the number of decimal places also can be controlled with that. Or the, the units, we can go from millimeters to inches. To create an angular dimension, just pick a location on the screen. I'll start, start here, I, I guess. Start angular dimension. Pick where I want the elbow of that angle to be. Maybe I'll pick here. Pick vertex for angle. And then instantly I get this sweeping angle, which I can complete by going right-click, end angular dimension. If I save this dimension, again the slider bar allows me to change the, the offset, and I can give it a name as well. I don't really have an appropriate name for this. Any dimension that you've created, you can delete after the fact. So that's an example of creating a user dimension in ByteCAD.